Hey everybody, Joe Flip here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the Zoom video conference call specifically for musicians that want to do interviews and performances live on the Zoom conference. So let's get into it. All right, so um, I've had a lot of musician friends ask me for some tips on this. Um, if you're not familiar with me, I'm Joe Flip, uh, musician, guitar player, songwriter. Um, like most, most musicians, I'm just trying to uh, learn these tips along the way, so I thought I'd try to share some things that, that I've learned so far. So first thing, um, you definitely want a direct internet signal. Don't use Wi-Fi at all. Um, so for my modem router, it's only a couple of feet away from my computer here. So most people will have you know, these standard ethernet cables laying around. Um, um, I was able to find a couple in my, my basement. Um, so I take an ethernet cable right from my modem router directly into your computer. I'm using a Mac laptop and it doesn't have an ethernet adapter. So I had to buy one of these. Um, it's an ethernet adapter on one side and a USB port on the other side. I think they were about 30 bucks. And I'll put links in the description with all these things. So if you want to check them out, if you need to order anything, um, the, the, all the information should be in there. So I'm going to put this right up to my ethernet adapter. And this goes right into my laptop. <clears throat> All right, so I wanna be sure that I'm getting the direct signal instead of using Wi-Fi. So what I go, I click up on this Wi-Fi button there, open network preferences. What I'm actually gonna do is turn my Wi-Fi off and go right to this Apple adapter here. So now it's getting a pure signal, no Wi-Fi. That's first thing. All right. So, um, to try to get your best audio quality through this live streaming, I think this might be the best solution. So, we, most musicians obviously have like your mixing board, uh, it doesn't have to be fancy. Uh, you also need a digital interface. <clears throat> so one of these, um, just about any brand, it doesn't have to be expensive. I think they start like around a hundred bucks, you know, maybe more or less. Uh, this other one I have is a uh, Presonus Studio 24C. Uh, when you buy them, it comes with an adapter. It's usually one of these adapters where it's similar for like your printer. So it's got a USB port and then I think it's a USB-A. I'm, I'm not too savvy on my uh, USB names. So you plug your USB, your digital interface right into your laptop or computer. Um, also, you want to you want to use headphones. So for this one, the headphone jack is a quarter inch. Um, so I have this adapter that goes from quarter inch to a three and a half millimeter. And then I put my headphones back there. You definitely have to use headphones. If you turn this thing on um, without headphones, it's gonna feed back like crazy. So make sure you put those in before you do anything. All right, next thing you're gonna do is when you have your mixer, just set it up like you're doing you know, one of your shows where you put your vocal mic in one channel. Let's say you're plugging your um, acoustic guitar um, into the other channel. Um, you can mic it, but I don't know, it might be easier just to plug it direct in. Because um, you'll have all these microphones around you, and you're, you get the <clears throat> the uh, video conference call too. So, put your your in, your channels in there. Check the gain structure, the EQ, the reverb, compression, um, whatever you gotta do on your mixing board. Make sure it's not clipping. Give yourself enough headroom. Um, you know, obviously, play loud so you can check those levels. Next thing you're gonna do is take that mixing board, just like how you're gonna send that system, or just like how you're gonna send that signal into your PA system at one of your shows. Take that XLR and just go right into your digital interface. So you have your instruments to your mixing board, your mixer to your digital interface. So I'm putting that from the mixer to the uh, XLR cable right into here. Now play, like, you know, play the guitar, sing the loudest that you would normally sing. Make sure it's not clipping on your mixer. Give you enough, just, just enough headroom. And then as you're doing that very loud, give yourself enough headroom on here as well. So um, make sure it's close to the top but not clipping. So there's usually like a gain structure for that channel. And then this one, there's uh, the headphone um, 
volume right here. So then you can adjust how much you hear through your headphones. Now we're going to move over to the zoom here. I'm going to go to new meeting, uh, test speaker with microphone. So it's asking, do I hear this ringtone? And I do, and I'm adjusting my headphone um, volume on my mixer here, or on my uh, interface. So I hear that. Um, speaker, if you don't hear it, it's asking you, do you want the speaker, um, this, your internal system? Um, I want to use, so my digital interface is called a Studio 24C. So whatever yours pops up as, use that option. So I hear that. Uh, again, make sure this is on your digital interface. Another thing I want to mention when you're doing any type of um, like laptop video thing, most of the times your laptops, like mine, is really low on, the, like on my table here and it looks kind of unprofessional like that. So I just put a couple, um, you can use a couple shoe boxes or whatever. I just upgraded my modem router so I have these empty boxes that I use. So just that alone, you know, makes it a little more professional. It's more um, at, at eye level. I might even raise it up a hair. Okay, so audio settings. So another thing before you do this call, you know, I would say you want to test this out first because let's say you have enough headroom um, in here, and, and let's say it's fine, it's not clipping, the audio is good, but let's, but, but maybe your master volume is way lower in relative to the other person on another end of the call. So you can kind of tweak that. It looks like um, it gives you an option to automatically adjust. Um, I don't know, it's, it's hard to say because when you're talking, you know, your volume's a little quieter, but if you're rocking out, you know, on this song, it's going to be really loud. So um, you might have to play around with this stuff and maybe do a test. I would definitely do a test conference call with a friend um, and you know, see how your volume level is compared to them. So when you order this stuff online, um, everyone's buying all this stuff now, like whether it's musicians or non-musicians. Everybody's working from home. Musicians are trying to do more streaming stuff. So it, it's kind of harder to come by this stuff online. So the, the delivery is taking longer. A lot of them are, are out of stock. So you might want to start um, checking into this stuff soon. Another option that might work is <clears throat> if you do use an external microphone, um, Rode makes these cool little, they're basically shotgun mics. So, you know, a shotgun mic is just a directional mic that's supposed to pick up stuff in this area. It's kind of nice because it kind of eliminates sound around your house. So, for example, like my house right now, it's pretty quiet. I don't really hear... I don't really hear my fridge or my furnace running. I don't really hear any neighbors outside. But um, but you'd be surprised when you use like, you know, obviously any kind of decent microphone. Um, but the shotgun mic is nice because then you could just use one microphone and then just picks up everything here. So I think the way you could do it, <clears throat> I haven't personally tested it yet, but I was researching online and it sounds like this is the way to make it work. On my Mac laptop, I just have one um, three and a half millimeter, you know, opening there. So so this Rode mic here actually has a, a lightning port on there so it's designed to go right into your iPad or iPhone as a microphone. The one I'm using right now on this camera is the same thing but it has a three and a half millimeter jack that's going directly into my camera here. So that's I'm actually using you know the same type of microphone right now. So what I've what I've learned that you can do uh, to use that for your laptop is you get a you have to order a splitter so it has it has two um, jacks that are female three and a half millimeter jacks so one you would plug in your um, Rode uh, boom mic or whatever external microphone you want to use the other one would would be your headphones to hear yourself and then the bottom jack is the um, is a male three and a half millimeter jack, which would go into your Mac laptop or whatever laptop you're using. So it sounds like that's the way to make it work. Um, and then you obviously have to go into your settings and make sure it's it's using that. But then in theory, if you were doing a live conference call, I would just have that one microphone at you know um, displayed at me here, and then I would use that for my talking, for my playing, and everything. I think the only thing with that is. Again, when you adjust your gain structure, 
Um, you know, if, if your talking volume is down here, but if you're performing really, really loud up here, you know, you want to lower that gain structure so it's not clipping. But then if you're talking and it's really quiet, it might, you know, the, that dynamic level might be kind of pretty drastic. So those, those are kind of the pros and cons of going that route. But otherwise, um, but yeah, otherwise I think so far the best bet is get your mixer with your instruments in there, put that into a digital interface, um, put that into your computer, and you should be able to use the Zoom video conference call for your interviews, um, live performance, and so on. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, let me know what you guys think. If, if you have any other suggestions or tips that, um, that might work better, um, any pros or pros and cons, uh, let me know in the comments. You know, like I said, we're all musicians here, so we're all here to help each other out. Other than that, I'm Joe. Thanks for tuning in, and we will uh, check you guys later. Thanks.